Hi, this is John and welcome to my 3D printing corner. Today, I tear apart a Prusa Mini. We're going to fix it. This is going to be a pretty short video. I've got a lot of work in at the moment. But a friend of mine, you might have noticed from another video, brought in his Prusa Mini, it was having some trouble. So I tore the whole thing apart. If you want to see how some of the different pieces look. This is the normally the control box that slides right on there, screws in place, then this screws on to the uh, main portion of the printer. So you can see this is the bottom of the uh, Z-rods. There's the bottom of the Z-screw and the X and Y. Then we've got everything else. But enough about this printer. Let me, let me put it to the side and show you what it looks like with some upgraded parts. Okay, so there's a few really good mods on Thingiverse and Prusaprinters.org. And I'm going to show you the upgraded parts. So this goes into place where the wire loom was connected to the extruder body. So it tie wraps into place where the, the original one was. And then you tie wrap the wire to this and it's got a little bit of play in it plus it clears everything. So that's a really good simple mod and you can do that mod just to start with if you want to and that will help protect this wire from breaking. The, the pin to wire from what I've heard is breaking in three different places. So there's a bare mod and they, they uh, modified the uh, the original MK2 and MK3 printers. So they've got a fan spacer. The black fan spacer is stock. The orange one is the mod. Okay, so you can see right in here it's where the fan spacer and it's only two, two bolts to, to do the fan spacer so it's real easy. And be careful when you are cutting the tie wraps though. You want to make sure you cut the tie wrap itself and you don't get any of the wires because then you're going to be in uh, doing a little bit more work than you want to. So one tie wrap on here. The original angle of this was more like that with the black spacer. So with the orange spacer it holds it off to the side. A lot less strain on this. One of the next mods included in the bear is this and what that does in addition to this cover this cover is larger back here which allows for some better cooling they've changed how the wires the angle of the wires coming out and then this is the final piece that you normally screw on to hold the wires down and so real easy to print the, the mini can print all of this um, I think with uh, the 0.15 millimeter quality in PETG it, it took around six hours to do all the pieces so this is a stock part I, I reprinted it for my friend's printer that I'm fixing he actually broke it right here where the T-nut goes and something important you want to make sure that this T-nut is always in place especially after uh, getting a new printer make sure that that T-nut is there because what has happened is that T-nut can come loose in shipping and fall into the circuit board and then as soon as you turn it on if you're if it's in an unlucky spot it, it can do some damage so one thing you can do is when you put that T-nut in place you can put a little P 
piece of uh, tape and that'll hold that T-nut in there so that way as you're moving things around you don't have to worry about that coming loose again. So good mod to do. You can see how free this is. You see as it moves we've got less pinch point. So I'm going to post a link to all of these on uh, on the video. Any questions, please let me know. Anyway, just a quick video. Thank you, everybody. Have fun.